I'm Donald and I love woodworking. I first got into woodworking and first found the interest through my dad. He's been in construction for about 30 years and um, all my older brothers went through a wood shop at the high school. First day of shop class, uh, I went in and I immediately fell in love with it. The inspiration for the couch was I just needed a place to sit. I wanted to create a table and a couch so I could really outfit my room with just furniture that I like and um, since I created it, I have a special liking to it. I usually want it to reflect something that I feel or something that's happening in my life and usually those tend to be the best because um, I will um, instill as much passion as I can. It takes a lot of imagination sometimes to um, think of new ideas on what to do and I've gotten a lot of inspiration from many different things. Primarily looking on just Google images and looking at projects and seeing how I can do them differently. In the process, I get lost, I lose track of time all the time. I'm just kind of in the zone, so to speak, and sometimes I feel like I there's not more time in the day to like do all the things that are going in on my head, and so I have to pick the right ones or the ones that are yelling at me the loudest to be able to produce. I have an Instagram channel called Donald's Woodworks. I usually post pictures of the process and then I end up showing the final product off and um, it's really nice because I get some positive feedback and some um, tips and tricks from other woodworking channels that are on Instagram and it's a really nice community. Another way I like to share my work is to either give it away or have people buy them from me. You're not aware of how big of an impact it is until you see the smile on their face and how happy they are to receive this gift or thing that they bought from you. While there are a lot of aspects of woodworking that can be applied to real life, um, one major thing is attention to detail. In a carving is very small and it's very intricate and it takes a lot of time to make all the details look right. The attention to detail and my craftsmanship helped me um, be able to get the job that I have now, which is make prototypes for a design studio. The next thing I plan to do is already in the works. It's a seashell that I'm carving. I want to make some furniture out of a piece of oak behind me, and hopefully it'll be like a small tabletop or um, I don't know yet. I don't know yet. Hopefully I can have my little shop someday and turn out fine woodworking pieces for friends and family. Something homemade would be the best gift because it's more of your heart instead of just something that you've bought.